Now let's see how to do that. So this is my walking footage. It's perfect for this effect. And we are going to create mask with this legs. So you can see, here's the first frame, there's some space on the left of this object that is beginning to move through the camera and block it. So click on the clip. Go to the effect controls panel. Click on the opacity drop down icon. And then grab our pen tool to create a mask. Now we are going to create mask here. And if you want more space, double click on program menu. And it will bring up full screen. Being clicking and plotting out your points and trace through a pretty close line of this object. Also you can click and drag to create curves. And then hold on ALT button. Pull the tail of that curve back into alignment. And then connect it to make a shape. So get a pretty accurate line. Double click on program menu. Go back to effect controls panel. And select inverted. Now as we can see we have a transparency that's beginning to happen then click on stopwatch icon for mask path mask feather mask opacity and mask expansion so now you can change the mask value from frame to frame then click on this button which is track selected mask forward one frame or you can use left or right arrow key so move forward one frame instead of retracing it you just expand the old mask so that it fills in a new space. Also you can click the path to add new points. So again do the same thing. Move forward one frame and retracing it. So we are basically just go through each frame and adjust the position until we reach the final frame where we've masked out the entire screen. We have done. Now we need to remove the first mask. So go to the first keyframe. And go back one frame. And decrease the mask expansion. Now our mask is ready for this effect. Select this clip and move it one track above. Then select the second clip and pull it under the track where the mask is starting. So that's it, now our transitions is ready. And the last step, if you see some back shape anywhere, then just increase the mask expansion around 5. So that's it, how to do that custom mask transition. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.